Let's see how to create telecommunications installations from OpenBIM workflow using Cyptel Systems software. We start by assigning the project to the installation it will belong to, creating one ourselves beforehand or, alternatively, through a collaboration invitation. Through this process, the program reads the information collected from the project and imports what it requires for this software. First, we establish the general settings of the job. We press Configuration, and in the library section of the pop-up window, we click on Elements to create and edit the equipment required for the installation and to define the technical features of each element. In View Options, we edit the information to be shown in each of the element's labels. The style specified in each element will be seen as they are added to the project. We can export this configuration for reuse in future jobs. We can also find regulated default configuration to assist us in this task. Once the configuration has been defined, we incorporate the elements into the installation. To define each element, we should click on and fill in the reference, type and height above the floor fields. We need each element to have its own unique reference. We click on beginning of the individual network if the element's location matches the adjoining point between the common and private areas of a building, like for example, the connection with the installation in a house. For defining a conduit, we don't need to include the length, as it will be calculated once it is added to the corresponding floors. If, on the contrary, we wish to set a length, we can insert it and then lock it in by clicking on the lock icon. As we can see on the plan, if we add a conduit between two points, its length will be calculated and its updated value can be seen when editing it with the pencil icon in the edit group and clicking on it. To define a virtual conduit, we must enter the height above the initial floor for one end, as well as the height above the final floor, and the floor for the other end. To ensure that a conduit connects with an element, the spatial coordinates of both the conduit and the element must match. All elements are in a three-dimensional environment, and it will be necessary to insert vertical conduits in order to bridge the existing gap between the elements and the horizontal conduits. The editing tools are useful if we wish to speed up a job's design. They allow us to mirror objects, copy between floors, and move labels, among others. If we edit an element using the geometric transformations option, we can adjust the size of an element, rotate it, and also modify the position of its label. Cyptel Systems has a view menu to define what we wish to see in the floor plans. We can visualize the elements of other floors, as well as selecting the element's display mode. The active display mode is the one we use when creating installation plans. The program generates the installation plans according to our settings, and they can then be exported to different formats. Finally, we export the completed design to BIM Server Center with all the information from the telecommunications installation and a file containing the installation's information graph. The OpenBIM workflow, proposed by the platform, allows jobs completed with Cyptel schematics and linked to this BIM project to import and interpret the designed installation from Cyptel systems. <laughs>